Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and this is Cosplay Girl Budgets. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is a beautiful day. Well, it is nighttime. <laughs> so it is a beautiful night to have a cash stuffing for my second paycheck of May, as well as share with you the new products that are coming out on my Etsy shop on May 16th. So stay tuned, I will do that a little bit later in the video. And I will also be answering the questions that you had asked me in the previous video and on my community post. So all that in one video. So let's see how long it's going to be. <laughs> Without a doubt, let's start with how much money we're cash stuffing. I will make somewhat of a disclaimer. I recorded this video previously, but realized I forgot to answer the questions. So I'm kind of re-recording. So some of the scratch-offs are already scratched off. So I do apologize for that because I know like a lot of you guys like seeing it on a camera when I scratch it off, but this time it's already been scratched off. But so this is my paycheck. If you want to screenshot it, I'm not going to do a budget with me just because we are limited on time. So that's what I'm cash stuffing today. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 3, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. So 380 is what we're cash stuffing today. So the first question comes from Addicted to Saving and she asks, how did you get into cash stuffing and congratulations on two years. So thank you girl. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it's kind of funny because honestly, I don't even know like how it happened, but the pink X budget, um, I think it's pink X budgets or pink X budgeting. I'll have it listed on the screen. She's actually popped up in my newsfeed and I was like, huh, this is, what's this? I saw, you know, I saw money in the thumbnail and I was just like, huh, what's this for? So I clicked on it and I was watching and she had a lot of money saved up and and she was just cash stuffing and I had kind of binge watched her channel and then I started to learn a little bit about it and I was like hey why don't I do that because this would be a really fun way for me to save uh, because I don't I don't usually spend money if it's in cash so that's kind of how I started because of her channel so let's get into my pink binder and this is basically my um, priority binder in terms of what I spend the most out of. So Enzo is my dog and he's getting $25 today. <clears throat> so now Enzo has 50, 70, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15. So $115 in Enzo and Enzo is my doggy. The next couple of questions come from Cute Budgets, and she said, Yay, girl, congrats. And the first question she asked was, What are your main three goals for the next five years? Um, my main goals are priority, well, I guess it's priority number one, um, get out of credit card debt. And then I would, I'd also like to be mostly done with my student loan debt but that's not really a goal because I think it's gonna take more than five years and let's see second goal would be mm -mm -mm. I want to be a successful small business owner and the third one is I want to feel strong in my body so those are kind of like three main goals that I want to accomplish in the next five years a healthy body uh, I want to be successful small business owner as well as credit card debt free so 
hopefully in the next five years I'll be at least all three. So next up is Vet and that's Enzo's Vet Expenses and he's going to get $10. So we have 400 in the bank and 10, 20, 30. So 430 in the Vet Expenses. Okay, what do you guys think of my new envelopes? I was very inspired by Baking Budgets because she has kawaii themed envelopes, so I made myself some. Next up is Pet Emergency, and we are using this lovely scratch off savings challenge from Spooky Budgets, and it's a Game Boy Savings Challenge. And last time we scratched off number 19, so that's what we're cash stuffing today. Okay, so now in Pet Emergency, we have 10, 20, 5, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So $34 in our pet savings, and I did scratch off the next one, which was 17 So that will be what we'll be stuffing in next time. So Health is going to get $20. I just did my first yoga class and it was amazing. I haven't done yoga in so long. So I want to beef this up so I'm able to take, uh, to buy five classes at a time. So now it's 20, 40, 50, and $60 in health. So I just need five more dollars and I'll be able to pay for that. Okay, so her next question from Cute Budgets was, what are your top anime movies to watch? The more the better. Okay, so uh, that's kind of funny that it, <laughs> we're on this envelope. I love anything Studio Ghibli. Um, my favorite Studio Ghibli movies is Spirited Away as well as Howl's Moving Castle. Definitely like my top favorite anime movies as well as any honestly any of the demon slayer movies were real the like the train one was really good so i loved that movie um I'm trying to think of other anime movies um princess mononoke i just really love studio ghibli movies um i really want i think it's called suzanne it just came out a little while ago i really want to see that one but I haven't yet, so I don't know if it could be a favorite, but it looks really good. So Tom, my boyfriend, we are using this scratch off by Amethyst Budgets, and I had scratched off 10 and 20, which was 30, and I had two left, so I scratched off 10 and 15, so that's for next week, so that'll be 25, but I'm putting 30 in for now. So now in Tom's envelope, we have 50, 70, 90, and $100. So I probably had $25 in here beforehand because this scratch off savings challenge is $100. So almost there. And this will probably go to a birthday gift as well as a graduation. Family is going to receive $10 today. So now we have 20, 30, 40, 45. 45 in family, which is great. I would love to go on a family vacation this year, but we shall see. Her last question was, what's the main lessons that you've learned from life? Wow, that's a big question. I'm gonna have to ponder that one. <laughs> Let's see, so car maintenance is going to receive its $10 that it normally does, and now we have 10, 20, 30. Um, I think one of the main lessons I learned in life so far, just from like, honestly, from my 20s to now, is just don't, don't give up on anything. Like, even if you fail at something, try again, and like, 
if it's meant, if you're meant to succeed at it, you'll succeed. So I just believe in not giving up on something that you really want to do. Um, for example, I always wanted to open my own Etsy shop and that's been a dream of mine for at least, <laughs> at least six years. So I'm finally opened my Etsy shop. So never, never stop giving up on your dreams. I think that's my main lesson. So I got this Oh No Car Trouble Savings Challenge from my Happy Mail. So I've put, put it here in this binder because I'm going to start working on that to fund um, my car maintenance envelope. So that'll kind of go hand in hand. So anytime I stuff car maintenance, it's going to be from this one until I complete it. Next up is holidays. And we are doing the 4th of July savings challenge. So currently I have 55 in here, 20, 40, 50, and 55. And I'm stuffing 15 so that I can complete, I want to complete two tens. So that would be make up the 20, the extra five will make up the 20. So we're gonna stuff 15 in here today. And now our holidays has 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, and 70. So $70 in 4th of July. Um, this might go, go towards camping because last time I went camping around July. So this is about $300 all saved up. So we'll see. That might be towards a mini camping trip. Next up is loans. And... I'm going to pause because I'm going to answer another question uh, from Unique Life Alba. She said, you do so great with your budget. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And she said, what are you most proud of? I'm assuming that means most proud of in your budget. Um, honestly, I'm proud of the flexibility that I've given myself within my budget. Um, and what I mean by that is that if I derail from my budget, I don't get mad at myself for not being so strict with it. And at the end of the day, your budget is your guide. And yes, you try to stick to it as much as you can, but things happen. So I'm pretty proud of myself for kind of releasing that stress of like, oh my gosh, I must, I wrote this down. I can only spend $80 on groceries and I can't buy anything else like I'm I'm not like super strict with myself So I'm pretty proud of my progress in like just that like Mental awareness like that was just causing me too much stress to be like super strict with my budget. So It's a guide for well for me. It's a guide and I try to follow it But if I go beyond it, I try to make it up in my next paycheck and I don't stress about it so that's come a long way, so I'm very proud of that. Next up in loans, we're going to do $10. So my money is all weird. Hold on. So loans now has $50, $70, and $80. Okay, so next up is my 1K challenge. And in this envelope, I'm going to be putting $20. And this all goes to my debt. So I colored in the 20 already. So we'll put that in here. And now we have 100, 200, 300, 400. That is in the bank and paid to my credit card. And then we have 50, 70. So every time I reach a 100, I use it as an extra debt payment, which has been working out nicely. Okay, so next up is groceries, and these are the envelopes that I was talking about from Baking Budgets that are super kawaii and, and inspired me to change up my envelopes. So we're going to give groceries $80. So now we have $50, $70, and $80. So you would see this in my next video, but I actually had $7 left over, and I already filmed my savings challenge video, so... That's what I had left over in groceries. And then next up is gas, and we are doing 80 as well. 
So we have 50, 70, 80. Next up is P.O. Box, and that's going to get five, and that makes ten dollars in here. And nothing back to the bank. So that's it for my pink binder. Next question comes from Budgeting Dolls, and she said, What message would you give to new budgeters just starting? their journey and what message would you give like to give to your future self um, definitely would love to give the new budgeters advice I definitely would say for new budgeters that um, tracking your spending for three months without changing anything will be a game changer just in terms of figuring out where your money goes to that way you can properly figure out your categories because when I started I was just I you know I loved watching cash stuffing videos and I just picked the the envelopes that other people had like I put a beauty envelope and I think I had a household envelope but I didn't really spend too much on beauty so there was no point in having a beauty envelope so definitely track your expenses for at least three months or look at your statements from the past three months and see where you put your money and create those categories and you'll you'll definitely use them more. And then in terms of a message that I would give to my future self, um, just keep going when the going gets tough because you know life happens and budgets change. I think I've changed my envelopes and budget like a gajillion times in the past two years, but I'm always trying to improve and work on my budget being better. So that's what I said. Keep going until the going gets, well, because, <laughs> wow, I messed that up. Keep on going when the going gets tough because there will be a rainbow at the end. So that is the answer to that question. And then we're gonna go into our blue binder. I'm actually going to, to pause on the cash stuffing to show you the new releases. Okay, so this is the first new release. I'm making a Luna and an Artemis savings challenge. So the Luna comes in two different denominations. It comes in a 40 and a 200. So the 40 denomination denominations are low so that is a good quick one I designed them to only be five spots so that you can do it in five weeks or in five paychecks or five bi-weekly paychecks is which is probably what I'm gonna do and then I also decided to make a challenging one which is 200 and this one has higher denominations so just beware you will probably this will probably be a little bit of a challenge so that's the two Luna minis and then we have the Artemis mini which is the higher one is 150 so again higher denominations but still five spots and then our Artemis mini which is $25 and again five spots and lower denominations so I wanted to cater to both low denomination as well as if you want a challenge in the higher denominations but not that high because five spots can get a little crazy if it's a large amount so I figured those would be good I hope that you like them again May 16th for these so there's those ones and then my pride and joy are these ones which are my card captor cloud card savings challenges so it does say cloud savings and that's probably what it'll be listed as but these are from an anime called card captor sakura which uh you had seen my wallet it's that girl that's from her from her anime and in the anime she's a a magical girl and she collects magic cards that you know she has to trap the monster in the card in order to use their special ability and that's kind of how it goes so I designed a cloud card savings challenge and I have two in the original one is 160 and then the other is 220 and they are going to be laminated as well 
well, this one is a dashboard. I was playing around with the idea, but this one is how it's going to be. It's going to be a envelope for you to stick your money in. So that's the original, the OG. And then I also created the Sakura version, which is the pink version here. And that one saves 170 and 210. And they're also envelopes as well. So you may have seen my video on Instagram of me stuffing this. And then this is how the back looks on this one. I really love the pink one just because I love pink, but I'm, I love the OG as well. So that's the new stuff that's coming to my shop. I also have a rainy day savings challenge coming to my shop, which I'll post a picture on the screen because I didn't get time to print it out, but I'm very excited for that as well. I want to start creating more like cute kawaii themed uh, savings challenges so the cloud uh, it's like a cloud savings challenge but um, the cloud is crying because you know rainy day is also another like type of emergency so I thought it'd be cute to make kawaii crying clouds um, so that's that and then yeah so those are the three things that are coming to my shop two physical products as well as a digital savings challenge. So I'm very excited for that. And I still have my Sailor Moon challenges on there. There is going to be a small update for those, but I will let you guys know when that comes. Um, I'm going to do these ones laminated. Um, and of course I will have a option for non-lamination if you prefer the paper. But I think the consensus is um, people like laminated more because you can reuse it. So let me know out, down below if you prefer laminated or paper for your scratch offs. Um, yeah, so that is the shop update. I'm very, very excited and I can't wait to use these in my budget. So yay! And let's get back to the cash stuffing. Okie dokie, so blue binder. So I do have a bunch of questions from a, a subscriber called What Sell E Done? I think it's called What Sell E Done. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but she, she or he, I didn't actually see in the picture. I don't know if you're a she or he, but they ask quite a few questions and I love it, so I will definitely answer all of them. So the first one is what when you're not cash stuffing or doing cons what do you like to do so um when i'm not going to conventions and i'm not cash stuffing i really like hiking i'm very into nature so i am just obsessed with going hiking and seeing waterfalls so that's what I like doing when I'm not cash stuffing or going to conventions. And then for Wonderless, we're doing $1. So I'll probably talk through these. You know that these ones usually get a dollar. So we have one, two, three, four, five in Wonderlust. Um, I'm going to say there. Their, question, their next question is, how long have you lived in New York? So all of my life, and I'm going to be 32 on May 11th and yeah I've been living here for that long I was born and raised in New York not the city but about I'm about an hour away from the city so it's not it's a nice little train train into the city when I want to see things there but I've lived here all my life and I love you know the small town vibes BFF's getting a dollar and we have one two three four um actually though trying to get out of New York because New York is just crazy expensive and they want like $1,900 for a one bedroom apartment. Who can afford that by themselves? I don't know. Next up is coffee and it's also getting a dollar. And then her ne their next question is what motivated you to start a start your channel? So coffee has one, two, three, four, five. Um, honestly, watching YouTubers, 
that did this. I was like, I can do that. And I thought that making YouTube videos would help keep me on track and wanting to be a cannibal and not, you know, I would, I would never film or film something and then, you know, spend the money in here because the next time I film, the envelope's different and I wanted to have that accountability so that I would keep on track with my budgeting. So that's kind of why I started. And also, it just looked like so much fun. So that's why I started cash stuffing on YouTube. And I was always wanted to be on YouTube but since I've been young. I definitely like hid the videos that I created, you know, back when YouTube first started because they're just like silly, poorly edited 90s videos, but I still look back on them fondly. Sushi has the $10 at, from my gift and now is getting a dollar and now has 11. And then next question is if you could make any video, what would it be? Oh wait, no, I skipped one. What does the name, what does the name come from? So my name comes from my love of cosplay and my love of budgeting. So that's why I decided to name my channel Cosplay Girl Budgets. I was formerly known as Ren Cat, which is kind of a nickname because my real name is Lauren and my middle name is Kate. So I had Ren Cat for a while, but I wanted something more general. So I decided to go with Cosplay Girl Budgets. Hobbies is getting $1. And that's all it has because I love buying things. <laughs> so that's it for hobbies. And then next up is tattoo and also getting a dollar. So next question is, do you have any, nope, I'm skipping questions. Oh my gosh. If you could make any video, what would it be? So now we have one, two, three, four, five in tattoo. Um, hmm. Hmm, I would love to make, honestly, I would love to make a vlog about, like, taking you guys on a hike with me, but I know this is primarily a budgeting channel and also, you know, hobbies, like, cosplay in there, um, so I don't know if I'd ever make it, but that'd be a fun video to do. Next up is wardrobe, and I'm trying to save a lot more money for clothing so we're going to do five dollars in wardrobe and I also did a yard sale so I put four four dollars that I made in the yard sale in the wardrobe envelope so we have five ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so I didn't really make that much from the yard sale I made about twenty nine dollars so I put four in here and then twenty five into my um, month ahead because I'm really trying to finish that one so that's it for wardrobe. Next question is, do you have any long-term goals for your channel? Um, a long-term goal would be the video where I say I'm debt-free. <laughs> but yeah, so that would be awesome. That's definitely my long-term goal. Or the video where it says I'm completely sufficient on Etsy <laughs> and I can quit my job. That would also be nice too. <laughs> Next up is home and it's getting a dollar. So this envelope changed a little bit because I added the numbers wrong in my 52 week challenge and I was missing a dollar so I took it from here. So now we have one and two. And I think I also took some of this money from my savings challenge video so you'll find out that in the next video. Uh, next up is electronics and that's also getting a dollar and next question is there anything you would like to share or show off um, but has not come up in a video so electronics has one two three four and five um hmm Honestly, I share a lot with you guys. I basically share my day and everything. So I wouldn't even know what I would like to share that hasn't come up in a video. Um, oh, well, I haven't really spoken about my fitness journey. So I guess that would be something that hasn't come up in the video. Um, but I am 
doing a, it's called the Summertime Fine Program with Sydney Cummings. And I just started that, so hopefully it will help me lose weight. And not, I, I hate saying that because, like, I don't necessarily, like, want, obviously I want to lose weight, but I really just want to feel fit in my body and strong because, and, like, flexible. I tried to do yoga this past time, and I could barely do, be, like, like, flexible in the move, so I lost a lot of flexibility over the years, and that's what I'm trying to regain in my fitness journey. It would be great if I lose weight, but honestly, I just want to be able to move well. So giving is getting three and there now we, so giving is getting three and now we have one, two, three, four in giving and they ask a lot of questions and I love it. So the last question is how, oh no, what is, what has been your top three favorite things about being a YouTuber? Ooh, okay, let me finish this and then we'll end with that as my ending thing. So I'm quickly kind of skipping over this, but putting $5 in my new envelope, which is for a PC. And what I'm using this fund for is upgrades on my computer. I would love to get a new case and a uh, more silent fan. So I'm starting to save up for that. Next up is my envelope which is my birthday challenge and that's going to get 15 and I already colored in the 15 there so sorry but I had to refilm this because I don't know when I'm going to be able to um, film because I'm moving this month and it's getting a little harder to film so it may be a little scarce in the next couple weeks. So now birthday has 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, which is awesome. So yeah, I guess that's a little bit of an announcement. So I'm moving at the end of this month. And so there might not be an May, an ending May one. And I might just like combine a savings challenge video with my regular cash stuffing. So that might be a very long video, but I'm not going to be able to do my second paycheck in two. Next up is birthdays, and we are going to be stuffing my um, sister-in-law's envelope with $10. And since I'm on birthdays, I did almost forget to answer one of the questions, which was from Budget with Lena. And she asked, do I have any siblings? And I do. I have one older brother. And he's two years older than me, and that's it. I'm the baby, so I was a little spoiled, <laughs> but don't tell him that. So in closing, let's answer the last one, which is what has been your top three favorite things about being a YouTuber? Definitely, definitely commenting with you guys, so comment down below, shameless plug. <laughs> and I don't know, just... Just being inspired by everybody, following along with people's journeys, I love. I mean, that's not really being, like, part of being a YouTuber, but I I just generally enjoy supporting others. And I honestly, I love give, doing giveaways, and I think those are the most fun things about being a YouTuber. It's just, like, kind of giving back to the community and hearing that, things that are happening in my budget and in my life are helping people like that's that's awesome so I don't know if that was three or more but I just really enjoy being a youtuber so far and I used to be very obsessed with getting to 1000 subscribers and being monetized but honestly if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you know what? I just enjoy making these videos and I enjoy your support and talking with you guys and giving back to you guys with giveaways and and just helpful knowledge that I have. And if it helps you, then that just makes my day. So those are my favorite things about being a YouTuber. And that is, with that, that is the end of this video. 
So thank you so much for watching and hearing me talk about my budgeting journey and life. So thank you so much for being here and supporting me throughout this journey. And yeah, thanks for two years. Thanks for sticking with me. Some of you all have been with me since the beginning and I really appreciate that. And those of you who are new, I appreciate you guys too. Even if you're a day old or you hit subscribe today, it, it just means the world to me. So thank you so much and thanks for following along. And with that, I will leave you until the next time. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.